Hey folks, Dave the Not So Evil Evil Viking 13 here. And I am back at work on my Minutemen Capital Castle build. And I think we're actually on the home stretch here, guys. This might actually be the last episode because I don't want to spoil everything for you guys uh, for the final tour with Joel. So I will be uh, kind of skipping past some other stuff that I've been working on. But I did want to return just briefly to my printing office over here, which uh, I had decided to call the Department of Public Affairs. You guys had some pretty awesome name suggestions, and this one's kind of like a combination of some of my favorites. It's a little bit Orwellian, but also kind of innocent sounding because, I mean, at the end of the day, General Dave isn't a complete, like, fascist. It's just uh, a little strict, you know? Okay, well, the propaganda might be a little bit fascist. Let's look inside just briefly. I've done a bit of decorating in here in the printing room. You can see a couple of the Minutemen custom posters over here, including a new one. General Dave will never stop fighting. And you guys can expect some, you know, additional new textures and flags and stuff like that uh, in the final tour, but I don't want to spoil all of those. Uh, over here is the workbench, kind of the drawing table where the posters are being glued and prepped and touched up and some more work tables over here. Let's just back out of our room here. I'm just realizing that there's no door in this place yet. Tell you what, let's go ahead and fix that now. Making a nice red door for the Department of Public Affairs. Very eye-catching. And as you guys can see, it is getting dark. I don't really feel like pausing time. So let me go back to one of my officer's quarters here and just sleep for a bit. There we go. Okay. Now that we have some stormy daylight, let me show you guys what we're going to be working on for today. I think because I've been working on the medical center on my own as well as some of the bathrooms and utility rooms. Ooh, frame rate drop. Oh man. Uh, we're going to come out here to the front because I really do need to be winding things down and focusing on important areas. So here at the front, we're going to finish the entranceway. As you guys can see, Sarge 2.0 down there has definitely been upgraded. And he's now close to that original sentry bot look. Seeing him already up here, let me go ahead and put down my lookout desk. That's what that radio is supposed to go on top of. I think under containers, yeah. This is just a small outpost desk. In fact, it really shouldn't be a desk. It should probably just be a table. Yeah, just a table. It's for whoever's up here on watch to be able to radio a warning if an attack starts. It's wanting to snap on top of the rooftop for some reason. That's okay. I will use my auto hotkey scripts here to put it into position myself. That's what I love about all the mods that I use. It really is just a time saver and also lets you be just absolutely creative. You have complete creative control of where everything goes. Fallout really can't tell me no. <laughs> you can't do that. Thanks to the mods that I use. Okay. Uh, Rolly chair doesn't really fit for up here. Let's do a steel chair. Nice and simple. 
I've gone back to Diamond City and bought some more shipments of supplies. So I have a bit more steel now, but it cost me like 6,000 caps, and I went to a couple of my settlements and only got probably about 500 of those caps back. Which is a big part of why I don't want to pause time while I'm building, because I need time to be passing. I need to keep earning caps. I want to do anything else up here? Um, maybe some foot lockers and ammo containers, but that's going to be it. No, like, permanent storage up here, I don't think. I want to keep the walkways clear. Yeah, we got foot lockers, so let's put one here and one here. Just some weapon storage. Don't want the duffel bags. Um, that steamer trunk is way too big. I think the actual ammo containers were way back in the front here. Let's go all the way back. I apparently can't use shift. Yeah, I can't use shift to scroll faster because I'm launching the game through uh, Fallout 4 script extender, which is what lets me place things anywhere. Yeah, I'll use the Institute style ammo crate. It looks a bit more uh, waterproof. So I'll put one there, one here, and one over here with the sandbags. Okay, looking good. Also my trading spot out there could really use a canopy. You guys can also see that Sarge 2.0 is on guard down there. Alright. Let's head down the stairs here. Aha! Got a bit of stair that needs to be adjusted. There we go. Now, I can actually take these stairs down and show you guys what I have done with the back porch here. It's a pleasure to serve with you, sir. I guess this is kind of the front back porch. It's the entrance deck to the castle courtyard. I've gone through and added this uh, nice old mossy brick to the underneath of the deck and then put the same kind of wood like in my quarters up here for the deck itself. Which does shift over here uh, to just the plain wood that goes up into the deck work itself uh, up top there. Now you'll also notice that I have gone through and replaced all of these railings with some nicer uh, reclaimed railings from some of the old war houses and also put a nice set of stairs down right here from an old house somewhere. And I think overall having that brick that covers up all of the stone debris that was visible beneath the deck here, like beyond this brick that's now blocking it, there's just tons of piles of rubble. I just think that looks a lot better and a lot fancier while still looking post-apocalyptic. Although I can't imagine how much work it must have been to reclaim all this stuff. And you have that dramatic uh, Minutemen shadow right there on the stairs with the lantern going. So what we're going to work on next is the entranceway, and as you guys can see, I've done a bit of work here by putting this radiation cleaner out front. I have it on a laser trip wire, but it's just constantly getting tripped. I haven't really thought about how I'm going to fix that just yet. I'd like it to reset by itself after a brief amount of time, so I probably can use one of the interrupter switches or something like that. I just gotta play with it some. But for now, that's the general concept, is uh, as you enter the castle, you get cleaned down from radiation. Should I go ahead and put the canopies up? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that while I'm out here. And then this sign right here, of course, I have not done the updated texture for just yet. I do have a plan for that, but 
I'm gonna do some kind of chiseled rock effects with it so I won't be recording that process because I've got to kind of experiment with how I want to Photoshop that to get it looking just how I want it. I think exterior structures. There's a tent, stadium lights, telephone poles. There we go. There's the tent I'm looking for. Is that floating? I think that's... Oh, it's not floating actually. Okay. Perfect. There's really not many decorations or supplies out here in the front because I don't want to spend the decorations, honestly. Additionally, I think most of the supplies that would be being sold would be kept inside of the castle, not out here, exposed. <laughs> I still just love this grand entranceway. Uh, that is exactly what I was hoping for, for the Minutemen's capital. We're going to work on the inside of the grand entranceway, and this won't be super decorated, but I want it to leave an impression. So let's start with the check-in desk. That's going to be a nice fancy desk, where in Dave Settlement tradition, your Minutemen background checks are performed, or checked in, I guess. We'll have some waiting areas. I placed this Minutemen painting uh, from one of the Minutemen overhaul mods. Well, there goes a the sprayer again. <laughs> but it appears to be blank, so I'm just going to store it for now. Alright, sprayer. Let me just turn you off. Let's pick a nice chair for our entranceway. I think it needs to be nicer than just an office chair. Perhaps one of the leather chairs would do the trick. Seen lots of couches. Hmm. Well, this is the chair I was looking for for the waiting area. So I will put that here, and here, and then, okay, so that piece, hmm, that debris is a bit of an issue. But hey, it's the apocalypse, it's not going to be totally perfect. Okay guys, I'm going to interrupt my own build here with a uh, slight update. I actually had to take a break here because I was recording on the night that the Far Harbor DLC came out. And so I'm going to return to this a couple of days into Far Harbor. And I'm just going to fast travel back and dive right back into the build. And we're back guys. I had to fast travel back, but I'm determined to get this castle build finished before the Witcher 3 DLC comes out. It's basically as we left it, but spoiler alert, you can see one of my additional new banners right there. Okay, got my cup of coffee here. Let's keep working on the entranceway. I'm thinking for decorations in here, we're gonna go with no posters, just really nice paintings. I'm still not sure why these are glitching. So that would be a perfect painting for back here. If I scoot it... Anything? Nope, you just can't see that painting at all. Uh... 
How does this one fit? That fits pretty well. So if this is going to be our check-in desk, I'm thinking uh, some storage area back there in the corner. Yeah. Let's do the chair first. It needs to be a really nice chair for the entrance. Um, but not too modern either. Is that too just vanilla, I wonder? Yeah, let's just stay consistent, stick with the fancy chairs. Okay. Now, there's going to be a radio desk back here. We're calling in those background checks. It's going to be a smaller desk, if possible. But it still has to look fancy. How thick is this one? That's not bad. Okay. Are the filing cabinets in here? There's a dresser. There we go. Actually, we're going to put filing cabinets back here. I'm going to have to move that painting up some. It actually won't fit there at all anymore, so instead, under the stairs it will go. Oop. It's tricky to actually get this lined up with this stupid staircase in the way. Getting there. I'll just do it manually. <laughs> okay. Hmm, can we actually fit any paintings down here at all? I don't think so, so instead, I'm going to place a couple of tables. And then from there, just some plants. Keep it mostly simple for the entrance. Yeah, let's do tables first. to actually shift this chair around. They're not lined up correctly. As the table goes right there. And I think I can just lower this down into the debris pile here. This is actually one of the few cases where I actually wish I was using a mod like Spring Cleaning to just delete that, but I still enjoy the extra challenge of working around what's already here. Put a table right there too. It would help if I actually lined it up. Ok, 
Okay, that's looking good. I don't think any kind of candles would actually fit here, so instead, let's just do plants. Before I decorate with plants, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I really want to put in here? I don't want to crowd it. So I think the answer is going to be no. Yep, let's stay focused and go right to the plant decorations. Ooh, you know, instead of just the uh, the large planters though, I think I'm actually gonna start with under uh, home clutter, some actual flowers. And while we're here, for the background checks, a camera. And an office desk fan, perhaps back here in the corner. As we're going by the props, might as well. Trifold American flag. There we go. It's a prop for back there. That's my last flag, too. Nice globe. <laughs> Deathclaw hand. Uh, typewriter. That is actually useful for our check-in. Umbrella stand. Let me see if I can hide you back here. I bet I will actually even forget that this is here after I've placed it. Umbrella in the umbrella stand. There's the vases. There we go. There's the flowers. Um... Hmm. I don't have four of anything it looks like, so let's do this. Do that one, and then... That one. Perhaps the single one? Oh, here we go. Nice big cluster. Awesome. I think no vases for... The desks, um, not really supposed to be decorative. And we'll put two nice things of flowers back here. Is that centered? Okay, it's actually pretty close to centered. Again, no posters in here, just the one flag over the door and then our nice paintings. This should all just be flowers, I think. Yeah. Put a nice vase on this table. Okay. So, perhaps a filing cabinet next to the front desk, right here. No, no, no. Let's do the uh, the larger plants first. I feel like we might fit a few of those in before we add any more furniture. I just have to scroll past a lot of things here in my miscellaneous category. Ashtray. I'll put the smoking section over here.
Lots of bodies. Uh, ceiling bell. Not enough supplies for the uh, coffee set. Hmm. Nuka Cola machine. <laughs> Actually, if I have somewhere out here on the deck that has extra space. Yeah, perfect. Spiky towers. Here's the plants. Yeah, let's put this big one. on each side of the flag here. Adjust that in just a tiny bit. I don't think I want to add anything to the corners here. I like just the vases with the flowers on the tables. Oh, hey there, buddy. <laughs> Watch where you're pointing that. And we also have this chandelier here in the center, so I feel like there's no real point for any kind of candles or anything. Yeah, guys, I think that is more than fancy enough for the meeting area. I'm going to do a final pass with any, you know, smaller signs and stuff like that uh, later on. But for now, I am noticing a bit of a height glitch with these planks. Not sure what I'm selecting here. So I'm going to move everything down uh, two units to fix that spacing problem. I guess that's uh, two units of five, so I'm actually shifting them ten units according to the engine. There we go. That also explains why the deck was not quite lining up over here either. That's much better. Okay. Glad I noticed that. Uh, you're going to see that shimmering vibration glitch on the texture, but that'll go away once I uh, reload my save game. So I'm not worried about it right now. Yeah, we have the chandelier. How does that feel when you walk up to it? Got the impressive entrance. Yeah, that's... That's pretty legit. <laughs> okay, so next up, we need a radio for our communications desk. what it's all about. But it's going to be over here under the extra categories. Yeah, homemaker, power, miscellaneous, terminals, uh, lights? No, that's not it. Let's check under miscellaneous interior for that ham radio that I'm looking for. Ah, there we go. Ham radio for conducting those important background checks. V stands, um, a microphone. Oh, there's already one that comes with the radio. That makes sense. Uh, projector, curtains, baskets, mirrors. Uh, ooh, a water cooler. Very fancy.
imagine you'd have to go to one of the vaults to find one of those in that condition. A <laughs> coffin. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put some clutter down, guys. Let's do a quick save here. I'm just going to check for a couple more office items to decorate the entranceway with, and then we're going to call it complete. Burnt textbook. Somebody's been reading back there. A brand new clipboard. I need to scoot this typewriter over here. Line it up just a bit better. Rolled up newspaper. Detective case file. I actually can't place the detective file. I'm not even sure where I can find those. Here's some folders. And someone's entry money, pre-war. Or maybe it's their taxes. Let's do two of those. Oh yeah, we don't have any telephones in the communication center. These would probably be just point-to-point -point telephones, but hey. If it works, it works. Look at that, we got our guard on station now, inside of the communication center. Have someone reading a comic book over here at the radio station. You know, one of these days, I'm going to get to turn that uh, radio back on, but... I can't imagine with all the hours I have spent here building, hearing those same lines and same tracks of music over and over again. Here we go. U.S. Covert Operations Manual. We'll have one radio man over here reading the manual and the other reading comic books. Getting the drop on communists. <laughs> oh, it is getting dark too. Look at a magnifying glass. You guys can also see here that I have a hanging lantern mod now. That's replaced the ground lantern. I do love this mod. Perfect for my Minutemen capital. This barracks sign is flickering. Move you out. Just one unit. Magnifying glass. Let's make it so that you're not whoop, quite floating. There we go. And some scissors back here. Now that's it for the office decorations. Yeah guys, I'm really happy with that, but if you have additional suggestions that, you know, wouldn't clutter things up but add to it, let me know. The lighting in here is kind of flat because of the street lights outside. A reminder of what we're fighting for. But I really like the look of those two street lights there uh, and there. Oh, and Preston Garvey is now creeping from up top. Awesome. All right, guys. Next up, we're going to work on some bathrooms. I know it's not super exciting, but 
Let me try and avoid areas I've been working on here. Don't want to spoil everything for you guys. Huh? I've been going down through here and putting in some new walls to dedicate some bathrooms. As you guys can see right there. And then this is going to be the showers right here. I think I actually have a fixtures category now. Let me see. Decorations, miscellaneous, interior. Well, they might be in here. Let's see. Oh! File tray. <laughs> Going way back to the entrance here. Miss the stairs. There we go. Yeah, I think I have an actual fixtures category. I'll put some mirrors out here though. And perhaps just one for each shower stall. And one for each bathroom. Some old towels here. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to find the fixtures category, I believe. Aha! Under homemaker fixtures. Got some sinks and shower heads. I'm thinking at least three showers per stall, but we don't really need more than that. That fan is extremely low. That's more like it. And then we'll add a single sink to the shower rooms. Do one there. And one. Come on. Easy. Right there. <laughs> At least right there once I get it where I want it. I'm going to go ahead and add these sinks to the bathroom, too. Come on. That is just not wanting to snap to the walls. There we go. Anything else under fixtures? I guess we do need a few more toilets. Of 
put a third one here. This is going to be the women's bathroom. And two toilets for the men. Just a single urinal. And because quarters are so tight in here, guys, I couldn't actually use the uh, bathroom stall dividers. These are much, much smaller stalls than the dividers would actually allow for. As much as I hate to add extra lights, the hallway has gotten kind of dark now that we've enclosed our light bulbs in here. Let's actually put the light bulbs out and maybe some smaller lights inside of the shower rooms and the bathrooms. I want the hallway to be the brightest point for sure. To actually divide those stalls out, seeing we can't use these stall dividers right here, I think I'm going to use the curtains along with some kind of uh, overhead support beam. So I'm going to go back to structures and then miscellaneous. And these horizontal columns should be just what we need. Oh man, they are wanting to snap everywhere. I really wish I could turn snapping off. But uh, that feature in place everywhere is still causing predictable crashes every time I use it. I miss that feature, but I don't feel like losing work to crashes, so. Manual positioning it is. I'm thinking if I put this into the wall some, I'll be able to use a middle piece. It'll snap. Nope, it won't snap. I was going to put a middle piece right in that wall divider. To equal the space out between the two bathrooms, but that's not going to work. Okay. Ooh, what is it even snapping to? That one's going to have to go out here. Although, I guess for this side, the urinal does not actually need its own barrier, so there we go. And hey, that actually worked out! Nice. Let's get those curtains now. I think under... Uh, decorations, clutter. Now, HM decorations, miscellaneous, interior. And I'm going to go for the shower curtains, I think, guys. Uh, there we go. I'm going to put this one over here so you can actually see that it's a stall. This is actually coming together basically exactly how I had planned it. For the bathrooms at least. Not sure what those are snapping to again, but there we go. There we go. And for number three, 
Let's put that one back just a bit. This one can probably go a bit like this. Okay. I think a single sink for bathrooms that have only three stalls is plenty. But I am wondering about the lighting. Might do just traditional lighting, perhaps, uh, from the base game. Just plain old light bulbs. But then I would actually need one for each side, and that seems like it's going to drop my frame rate way too much. How about these wall lights? How bright are these? Oh, well, the game is actually uh, a bit glitched with lighting right now, so this is a, a terrible time to place lights. I'll place these two, and then uh, I'll place some regular light bulbs in the shower stalls, and we'll just have to assume that that is working okay. Because again, the lighting uh, is kind of stuck because the time of day is changing and because I have so many lights placed in this settlement that it, it won't be rendering correctly until I uh, leave the settlement and then come back, which I am not planning on doing right now. Uh, and this is going to be one of my uh, officer's quarters. So it's already got a light in there. Yeah, let's just go back and place a traditional light bulb for the showers. One and one. I think besides some doors and some floor mats, all we actually need are the benches out here. So let's start with those benches. They might be under chairs. Oh, homemaker furniture. Oops. Uh, benches. Steel bench. We're outside of our shower room. And one small one as well. And I'll place a small one in the shower room as well. One there. One there. And then one for each corner of the bathroom. Not in the men's room, though. There's a pile of debris there that's kind of in the way. There we go. The lights are starting to come back. I think that light does cast enough light. I'll be doing all the outside signs later. So, doors next. No, no, mats next. Let's do decorations. Decorative flooring miscellaneous. Uh, nice big mats for the shower. And some singles too, if it will stop floating. Well, not sure what it's snapping to, so. Oh wait, that's the giant piece. I thought that was the single piece. Do one like that, and one like this. Some mats for the bathroom too. Just one for the men's room, because the stalls are not quite as evenly spaced. 
But for my favorite excuse, guys, hey, yes. it's the apocalypse. Let's put those doors on next. I'll go ahead and do the officer's quarters doors down here, too. A boat door. A red door. Hmm. Got steel doors. Uh, let's see what kind of doors Homemaker has, actually. I don't think wooden is a good fit for the shower room. Closet door. We'll see, though. It might be the only fit. <laughs> Modern door. Yeah, let's put some uh, modern doors on the bathroom, perhaps. We could do, yeah, sliding pocket doors. How does that look? Minus the slight glitch into the wall. That looks good. Let me just fix that. Coming in pretty good. Yes. It makes the bathrooms hey, kind general. of hidden, so I'm liking that. Now for the shower rooms. Uh, needs to be a pretty well secured door. Um, you know, no peeking allowed, no windows. Yeah, we'll just stick with the same pocket doors. And apparently, that bench is backwards, so... Let's just go ahead and fix that. Ah, I won't actually reposition her. She might glitch out. There she goes. Well, crap, I hope these are all facing the correct direction. <laughs> hey, that one works. Thank you, bench beta tester all right guys that is the structure of the bathrooms now complete for the officers quarters let's do some paintings do the sailboat on that wall and the ranger on this wall and then of course a Minutemen flag there's really not a whole lot of room in here but hey they have a very fancy bookshelf Again, posters and signs will be the last pass that I do. So I'm not going to go through those, but I will place a couple of chairs. Let's give them a nice reading chair of some kind. Will this actually fit in here? That's not bad. Befitting a Minutemen officer quarters. It looks cramped, but it's private. Which reminds me, I also forgot their door. Do a save first, just to be safe. There we go. Uh, they will get, not a modern door, because it's next to my quarters, which I actually can't show you guys. Because I've been tweaking it. I want it to be a surprise. Let's do a nice uh, wooden door. 
to the officer's quarters. Mm. That can't swing out. Or can't swing in. Needs to swing out. Can I flip it? Yes. Yes, I can. And I think I'll put an actual sign on that that says uh, officer's quarters. But I think we could use a painting on the hallway right here too. It's a nice big piece of wall, so let's put a nice big painting on it. Fancy. Then I'm gonna take this storage rack and put it somewhere else. Because this is right outside of my quarters. I think a nice big painting is gonna go here. But I don't think that the modern artwork actually fits, so we'll do one of these gentlemen instead. I do want a light for this part of the room, but a dimmer light. How does this look right here? Does that cast any light at all? I actually cannot tell. What do we have for, like, mood lighting that won't interfere with my personal quarters next door? Not bad. But how about one of these lamps? That's the soft light I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do, guys, is make a little... Uh, waiting area for my quarters here in the hallway. We have some nice couches that also look a little old. Ooh. No, no, no. The fancy couch. That is how we roll. Do the fancy couch, and then, I think, a, a table. But a fancy table as well. Gotta watch how many lights I'm adding, but I think we're okay with this one here. And then I'm thinking, uh, under decorations, and then miscellaneous, I'm going to add some nice potted plants here for the hallway. Going past the dead bodies once again, excuse me guard, don't mind me at all, I'm just the general. Come on, where's those potted plants? Awesome. We'll do one here, these nice ferns, and one here. We'll just say that that plywood right there is part of uh, an upcoming sign that's being worked on. It's just there temporarily. Okay, guys. Well, there is a little more that I want to work on, but we're almost to the point where it's time to do those final sign decorations and then record the final build with Joel. And I don't want to spoil the entire thing for you guys, so this is actually the end 
of the live build part of the series. The next time you guys see the castle, it's going to be complete, and Joel is going to be taking the full tour of it, which, like Spectacle Island, might end up being a two-parter. We'll see. What I am going to do, though, guys, is end this video with a little short montage of the Fort Independence sign that I modified. It's from uh, one of the excellent sign mods, but I wanted to make my own custom version of the texture with some, you know, bump map chisel effects on it and some, uh, some paint overlay. So I'm going to end the build part here, uh, roll that footage of the texturing, and I will see you guys soon for the final tour. As always, thanks for watching.